Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this uh, responsive website using React.js. And in the previous video, we set up our project and uh, we can see that we have created the React project over here. And this is how the website looks right now. Now in this video, we will create the components necessary for our project. So let's get started. Right now if you go to the Figma file, here we can see that uh, we have different sections in our design. So the first section is the header section and then we have this section over here and we'll call it topics section. And then we have this section right here and we'll just call it info section. And then we have this section which we will call blog section. And then we have the testimonial section and then lastly we have the footer. So we'll create different components for each of these uh, sections. And we'll also create a different component for this navbar. So let's go ahead and create those components. Let's go back to our VS code and we'll create a folder called components. So let's click on this new folder icon and we'll create the components folder inside this SRC folder. So let's type components and now in this components folder, we'll create all the components. So for the components, we will have CSS as well. Now we will separate the CSS of each components into its own different CSS files. So let's create folders for each of the components. So in the components, let's create a new folder and I'll just name it navbar. And in the navbar folder, let's create a new file and let's name it navbar.jsx. So this is our first component. Now let's create the CSS file of this navbar. So let's create a new file and let's name it navbar.css. So here we can see this is the navbar component. Now let's go back to the components folder and let's create a new folder and I'll just name it header. Now in this header folder, let's create a new file and let's name it header.jsx. So this is going to be the header component and let's also create the CSS for the header. So let's create a new file and let's name it header.css. So these are the two components in our website. Let's go back to our Figma file and the next component is topics section. So let's go back and let's create a new folder over here inside the components. And let's name it topics and let's create a new file and let's name it topics.jsx let's also create the CSS so let's type topics.css and the next component is the info section so let's go back to the components folder and let's create a new folder called info and let's create a new file called info.jsx and let's create a new file called info.css now I'll just go ahead and speed up the process of creating all these components. Right here we have created the folders and files for each of the components. Now let's write the basic code for the components. So let's go over here to blog.jsx and we'll just use the snippets from this extension right here called ES7 plus React. So you can just install this extension and once you install that you can just type RAFCE and press tab and you'll have this basic code for the React component. And let's also import the CSS file over here. So it is called blog.css. So I'll just type import. And uh, here I'll just type dot forward slash blog.css. Now in the same way, you can go ahead and add the code for all these other components. So I'll just go over here to footer.jsx. And let's type RAFCE. And here I'll just import the footer CSS. So I'll just type import forward slash footer.css. And uh, let's go ahead and do it for all the other components. So I'll just speed up the process. All right, I have added the basic code for all these components. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's try to import these components into our app.jsx file. So let's go to our app.jsx file. And now let's import one of these components into our app.jsx file. So for that you have to type import and you have to type a name for the component. So I'll just name it header. So I'll just import the header component and we'll import it from this folder right here components and in that we have the header folder and in that we have the header file you don't need to specify the .jsx over here right now let's go ahead and uh, display that over here so I'll just type header and now if you go back to our website here we can see it says header so if you go back to the header component this is the header component and if we just update this so let's type this is the header and now if you go back to our website, here we can see it says this is the header. So now here we can add the code for this header section right here. 
Now if you go back to the app.jsx file, here we can see that we have to import all these uh, components one by one. So this file will have a lot of code. So for that we can go ahead and uh, add an index.js file into this components folder. So let's do that and in that way we can just import all the components with just one line of code in the app.jsx file. So let's go to the components folder and let's create a new file called index.js. And what we can do over here is that we can import all the components over here inside this index.js file and then we can just export all of those from this file. So let's type import header from header and in that we have the header.jsx file and let's go ahead and type import navbar from navbar.jsx then let's type import topics from topics topics and import info and uh, let's go ahead and import blog and let's import testimonials and then lastly let's import footer now here we have also imported the navbar so we don't need to import the navbar from here we'll just import the navbar inside the header so i'll just delete it from here we will import the navbar inside the header component so now let's go ahead and export all of these components from here so let's type export and uh, i'll just create an object and let's pass all of these uh, components over here so let's type header topics info blog testimonials and footer now we can go back to our app.jsx file and here we can just delete this line of code and we can also delete this and uh, now let's go ahead and type import and we will import something from and here we need to type components and now here we can specify all those components inside this curly braces so let's type header info topics blog testimonials and footer right now let's go over here to the return and uh, let's just type let's say info and now let's go back to our website and now we can see it says info so all these components are imported over here now we need to display multiple components inside this app.jsx file so now here if we type header and if i save this we can see that we have this error right here so if you go back to the website here we have this error so the problem is that you cannot have two elements as a return. You have to have just one element. So you can enclose all of this inside a div if you want. And if I just cut this ending tag from here and if I just paste it over here. Now if you save this, we don't have any errors. Now if you go back to our website, here we can see we have the info and the header. Now if you right click over here and go to inspect. And if you go inside the body and if you go to this div, here we can see we have this outer div and in that we have these two divisions now we don't want to have this outer div so what we can do is we can add a react fragment so let's go back to our app and here i'll just remove this from here now this is basically a react fragment now if you go back to our website and if you go to the inspector here we can see we have this body and in that we have the root and in that we have these two divisions we don't have the outer div Right, let's go back and let's add all the components over here so first thing we need to have is the header and then we need to have the topics section so let's type topics and uh, then we need to have this uh, info section so let's type info and then we have the blog section and testimonials and footer so let's type blog testimonials and footer Right now let's go back to our website and here we can see all the components are displayed over here. Now the next thing we will do in this video is add all the assets to our project. Now in the setup video I had shown you how to export all these images from the Figma file. So once you have exported all these images from the Figma file you can just go over here to the project and paste all of them inside this assets folder right here. So I'll just do that real quick. Right here I have copied and pasted all these images from the Figma file into this assets folder. Now let's go ahead and create an index.js file just as we did for the components for exporting all these images. So let's click on new file and let's type index.js and here we need to import all these images. So let's type import and for the bg element 1 let's type bg element 1 and then you have to type from and here you have to add the link. 
so let's type dot forward slash bg hyphen elements hyphen one so in the same way you can go ahead and import all these images into this index.js file right here we can see i have imported all these images now let's go ahead and export all these images so let's type export and here we can just type the names of all these images so we can start with bg element one so let's type bg element one bg element two and so on so i'll just go ahead and speed up the process and here we can see i have exported all these images now here we can see we have also imported the three images of the blog these are the three images and we have also imported the images for the testimonials now for the final website we don't need to have these three images imported and also these three images of the blog imported but we are just importing it over here to style our page better and later we'll just replace all these images from the images from sanity io right with that we have completed creating all the components and we have also added all the assets to our project from the next video we will start designing the components and we will make the design look like this so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day